So what did Jesus really mean when he said to turn the other cheek? Keep watching and listening to get the whole story. Hi, this is Pastor Mark with Church Requill. We're here with Bible study number 123 on this Wednesday, May the 6th. I'm back at the downtown location of the, um, of the Carousel District. And you can see behind me just a beautiful uh, uh, tree. It's springtime here in Mansfield and the trees are in harvest. And uh, downtown Mansfield, even uh, in the evening, is uh, filled with uh, life. As in the background, I can hear somebody uh, playing the pipes. And of course, there's cars going back and forth. And who knows, we might even be interrupted by a siren again. But hey, that's the fun of uh, doing these uh, Bible studies with you. Well, let's read our very next part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, which is Matthew chapter 5, the last half of verse 39, which reads this way. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. I don't know if you've ever really fully thought through this teaching. I have to admit that I never really thought through all of the aspects of the words that's in it. In particular, I never thought through the significance of the word right cheek. Jesus is very specific in Matthew's gospel that it's the right cheek that we are to then turn if we're hit with the on the right cheek. Now, what is significant about the right cheek? Well, stop and think about it for just a moment. If somebody is hit on the right cheek, that would mean that the person who is doing the hitting would have to also, assuming the person is right-handed, would have to hit the person or slap the person with the back of the hand. All right, does that make sense to you? That if you're sitting in front of me, if you're standing in front of me and I slap you, and particularly I slap you on the right cheek, and I'm right-handed, I, I can't do it this way, and I can't get my hand around like that. I have to hit you with the back of my hand. Now, to really fully grasp what this means, in Jewish culture, one of the greatest uh, insults that anyone could have would be to be slapped by the back of a hand. Uh, this is the kind of slap that would come from a master to a slave, from someone who cares absolutely nothing for the person being slapped. It would be to suffer terrible indignity, disdain. Uh, the attitude, if you're hit by the back of someone's hand, is that you truly are less than human. It's uh, written that even a slave would rather be hit by a whip than by the back of his master's hand if the slave was Hebrew. You see, a child who would be loved and disciplined by his father would never receive a backhanded slap, although he might receive an open-faced slap of the palm. You see, to be slapped with the open palm, and again, just to demonstrate like you know, this, would signify in ancient Jewish culture that there was a relationship that still existed. So the back of a hand, you mean nothing to me. Open palm slap means that there is a relationship that exists. Now, having that as an understanding of the background to this teaching, there are two things that's truly remarkable about what Jesus is saying here. First of all, non-retaliation from the person being insulted. Non-retaliation, you know, you, you don't strike back. And that is, after all, the most natural thing that we would want to do, right? If, if someone hits us, we want to hit back. If we've been insulted, we want to insult back. If we've been slapped, we want to slap back. Um, what does Jesus say to do on the other hand? Not to retaliate, not to slap, hit, or insult back, but to turn the other cheek. Don't retaliate. Don't strike back. Now, this is remarkable, and this is what I would normally have understood Jesus to say when he says, turn the other cheek. But now that we understand the ancient Jewish culture in which this is written, we can also understand the second part of Jesus' teaching, and that is that not only is Jesus saying not to strike back, he says to turn the other cheek. 
What does it mean to turn the left cheek to the right-handed striker? It means I'm willing to be slapped again by you, but this time with the open palm, the sign that a relationship still exists. Does that make sense to you? In other words, to turn the cheek would mean that once someone has slapped you with the back of the hand and you turn your other cheek to me, the only way that I can then come back and slap you again would be with the open palm of my hand. And that would signify that there is some type of a relationship that exists, even if it involves a slap. Uh, Jesus certainly set the example for us. Uh, in the time of his crucifixion, the soldiers struck him, slapped him, but he never retaliated. They plucked his beard. They placed a crown of thorns upon his head. Even as he was dying on the cross, Jesus said, Father, forgive them. I would urge you to read 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 20 through 23 you'll see that there Peter says that we are to entrust ourselves as Jesus entrusted himself to the one who judges correctly. You see, when we don't retaliate, we're saying we believe that there is a judge who believes in justice and God will judge correctly. Can we do the same? Before I close off here, there is one other thing that I quickly want to say and that is, I think there are times when we need to not take always such a literal interpretation of what Jesus is saying. Because see, here he is not talking just about physical abuse. He is talking about the insult. Ladies, I want to address you in particular today. If you or your children are being abused, you must seek shelter and security for your own sake and for the sake of your children. Jesus is not talking about taking physical abuse here. He is talking about the issue of insults. It is not the Christian way simply to submit to physical abuse. Tomorrow we'll come back to you again with another Bible study on Thursday about giving up your coat. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. 